Hello and let's talk about editing subtitles with Maestra. Now on the upper left corner of our screen uh, we can see the translation section. If we click this translate button we can choose from any of these languages to translate to. If you click the add button um, you will have the subtitles in that uh, specific language. Now I have translated this file to Spanish. On the upper lines you can see the original version of the text in English and below that is the Spanish version. On the left side here we can see that the first line of the subtitles starts at uh, the 21st second and ends at uh, the 30 seconds mark. You can also um, change the speaker names. You can add a speaker if there are, you know, maybe more than many. And this CPS is characters per second. This basically tells you how hard or how easy it is to um, read a, a line or two lines. Now on the right side, this is our merge button. So if I were to click this, um, subtitle 1 and subtitle 2 would merge. You can also click this and add another line, but you know, the program tells us that there are no um, space between subtitle 1 and subtitle 2, so now I can change the timecode, right? I change this. Now there's like a one second um, gap between. I click this. Now we automatically have a line between subtitle 1 and now subtitle 3 time-wise. I'll remove this and now I'll show you the merging. You can see I clicked it and the you know subtitle 1 and subtitle 2 is now a single subtitle. Now here, uh, this is 14 seconds long. If I were to make it like uh, 4 seconds long, now you can see that it says it is um, 57 CPS, which is not good. This would be very hard to read, so uh, this might be useful for you. Now um, on the lower, lower section, you can see uh, the subtitles in the, in the time zone. Uh, this is just uh, another way of um, changing the, the time codes. You can stretch it like this on the left side and the right side. You can also uh, drag the line to just put it in another time zone. Now if you don't like this and say that maybe you, you want to see more uh, subtitles on the screen, you can click this uh, hide timeline button right here and it will be gone. Now on the upper corner again, um, if you want, you can hide the translation and then you will only be able to see the original version. You can copy this um, to a new file, maybe if you want to work on it differently in a new setting, setting. And you can also import your own subtitles. We can also change the name of the file, name of the video. and. Now this is our player section. Now you can obviously skip a few seconds if you want. This shows the um, seconds, the time of the video. You can choose how fast or how slow the video plays. You can mute the video. And here if you click this format button, we can change the format of the subtitles. We can change the font. We can change how big are the subtitles. We can change their color. We can change their um, background here. You can see. Um, you can change the color of the background, how big it is and its opacity. Now, you can also change the position of the subtitles here. I'll show you. You can see on the preview. And now this part can be useful to people who work in subtitling. You can choose how many characters there will be in a single line. Now I know from personal experience that some companies want to want a specific number of characters in a line. So maybe they tell you I want uh, a maximum of 40 uh, characters in a line. You can choose it here and uh, it will make your job way, way easier. 
then um, we can see the number of lines here we can choose one we can choose two we can change the subtitle anchor top or bottom or we can also um, choose to show the speaker name which is more of a caption thing click save now on the upper right corner we can see the uh, button for our embed player but uh, i talk about this in another video so if you want you can watch that um, we can share the file with our coworkers, with our friends via email and after we are done we can export the subtitles in a number of formats now the SRT format is basically the most popular format in subtitling we can export as an SRT file, a VTT file, an SCC file basically all the formats you see here are available now this language is this only shows the translations I have made to the specific file obviously there are more languages in Maestra you can export the file as an mp4 file uh, if you want it as a video or you can download it download only the transcript if you only want the text um, you can disclude timestamps speaker tags you can export as paragraphs and then you can export as a text file as a word document or as a pdf and that is pretty much it guys